What's the answer? Maybe it's violent. didn't help me at all. Matter can change in two ways. They are physical and chemical change. Okay, so how can you tell them apart? Um, let's look at that. With a physical change, you still have the same substance when you're done changing. They can also be easily reversed. Some examples of physical changes are dissolving things. Change of shape rounding things, and change of state. With a chemical change, you create a brand new substance when you're done. Many chemical changes cannot be easily reversed. Some examples of chemical changes are new color, taste, or smell. Light is produced. Okay, why isn't it lighting up? Maybe we went to wait. That sucks. Why isn't it lighting up? Maybe we got a dead one. A dud. A dead? A dud? Yeah. That sucks. Now what? We should kill the makers. Bubbling or fizzing. Burning things. See? There. That did help you. Heat is produced and gas is produced. Okay, um, what's next on your worksheet? Density. Uh, oh, I know that stuff. Um, oh, okay, um, density is how much stuff there is in a given amount of space or mass per unit volume. Okay, so how do you know the density of something? Okay, you use the formula density equals mass divided by volume. And to find mass, you use a triple beam balance. And to, fi and to find volume, you use a graduated cylinder or length times width times height. Or if for some reason you can't remember that, you can use I heart density. The density of water is one gram per milliliter. If an object has a density of less than that, it would float on water. If it has anything more, it would sink. Okay, the last subject is states of matter. Oh, I know that. Okay, there's 50 states. They're Alabama, Alaska. No, not like that. Oh, oh, okay. The other one, like with energy and stuff? Okay. There are three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. Solids are tightly packed. Their particles vibrate in place. They have a definite shape and volume. Liquids are loosely packed together. Their particles are moving much faster than solid particles, so they slip slide around each other. Liquids have a definite volume, but they take the shape of their containers. Gas particles overcome all attraction between them. They fly around all over the place. Gases have no definite shape or volume. What you just saw there is what this chart shows. The water did not start boiling until all of the ice had melted. We kept adding heat, but the temperature did not always rise. Melting is when a solid turns into a liquid. This is an endothermic change because it, it is gaining energy. Boiling is when a liquid turns into a gas. This is an endothermic change. Sublimation is when a solid turns directly into a gas without turning into a liquid first. This is an endothermic change. Deposition is when a gas goes directly into a solid. This is an exothermic change because it is losing energy. And yeah, we couldn't find any good deposition videos, so we just played our sublimation video backwards. Condensation is when a gas goes directly to a liquid. This is an exothermic change. Do you see that fog on the lens? That's the steam condensing back into water. 
Freezing is when a liquid goes into a solid. This is an exothermic change. Now that we've covered all your questions, now go to your worksheet. I would, but you burned it! Oh, nice. Okay.